The Augusta City Council, meantime, is debating how to deal with feral cats in the city. One city councilwoman wants to change the way that the city approaches it by catching and euthanizing the cats. Cakes Mike Ewan is in Augusta with details in a more humane idea. This is new at 5. Here in Augusta, there's a bit of a feral cat problem. But a city councilwoman here at an organization is trying to solve that problem by using a spay, neuter, and release program. Hi, baby cat. Kitties! Sue Jones is the first to admit she loves cats. In the alley behind her downtown Augusta shop, she feeds about a dozen feral cats. She has a shelter for them, too. Jones is on the city council and agrees something needs to be done to slow the feral cat population growth. I've learned that people either really like cats or they really don't like cats. But as one of God's creatures, I think it's incumbent upon us to, um, to be good stewards. Enter Sue Shep, who is the area coordinator for Friends of Felines Kansas. Her group uses the Trap, Neuter and Return program, or TNR, to solve the problem. Trap neuter return has been proven to be the only effective method to control the population of free roaming cats. We've used trap and kill in this country for over 100 years, and there are still uh, more feral cats now than ever. Councilwoman Sue Jones hopes that when it's all said and done, the council will agree that the capture, spay, neuter, and release program is the way to go, and that will reduce the amount of feral cats in Augusta. In Augusta, Mike Ewan, Cake News. And the Augusta City Council will take up that trap neuter return program again in two weeks after some further study.